All right, let's look at this one here. Here we have a charged particle. It's a proton. We're given the mass, m sub p, and it has some speed v naught, and it's shot into a region between two plates. So kind of like a parallel plate capacitor situation here. We're told that the plates are separated by distance d, and that there's a uniform B field existing in the plates. And you can see from the diagram that the B field is everywhere into the page there. Um, and we're also told that the B field is perpendicular to V naught. All right, so the question here is what must be the magnitude of B such that the proton just misses colliding with the opposite plate? So what we want is we want the proton to take, if it's gonna just miss the opposite plate, then the most efficient path would be like a circular path, kind of like that. And what we know is we know that this is what B fields do well. Right. If you want to speed up or slow down your particle, B field isn't your thing. You need to use an E field for that because the B field can't do work. But if you just want to change the direction of your particle, yeah, that's what we use B fields for. So um, I'm going to go ahead and say, all right, we can take, we can use a circular path here in order to avoid that far wall and a circular path of radius equal to d, right? Because this is kind of like a quarter circle that I've just drawn in there. And actually, we want radius less than d, not equal to d. We want radius less than d in order for it to miss the wall. Uh, equal d would graze the wall. OK, cool. So we'll, I'm going to leave that inequality out during our solution, and I'm, I'll pop the inequality back in at the end. The reason is that it's much easier to solve for like the boundary case and then turn it into an inequality at the end. So what is my force here? Well, I know I can define this force as Q V cross B. This is my general equation where I'm looking at the force on a moving point charge. And in this particular case, uh, this is a proton, right? So I know that that proton has some charge on it. It's fundamental charge, so I can write that as E. V here is V naught, and we're crossing that in with B. B is what we're looking to solve. The magnitude, so I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to then go to magnitude. The magnitude of this force is going to be then e v naught b sine phi where phi is the angle in between um, v and b and we're told here that b is in and out of the page v naught is in the plane of the page here so that means that sine phi is equal to one and that's because phi is equal to 90 degrees in this case great so that simplifies the magnetic force to just E, V naught, B. Nice and simple. All right, so we know the mass, we know V naught, we know the radius, and um, I want to remind you that when we're talking about centripetal force, basically the magnetic force is going to be equal to the centripetal force in this case. Right, and that remind you that centripetal force is equal to the general equation mv squared over r. So I'm just going to apply that here. And for mass, I have the proton mass v squared, v naught squared, over r. r is equal to d in this case. We can see by the diagram. And I'm going to set that equal to my magnetic force, which is e v naught b. Cool. And we solve for B. And when we do that, we get B is equal to, again, magnitude of B. We already have the direction. We want to know how strong does B have to be, right? What's the magnitude of B such that we miss the plate? Um, so I'm writing it as an inequality, and then we'll go to the inequality. So if we wanted R to be equal to D, which is the substitution we made, we would get B equals... Uh, mass of proton v naught over d e but we want it to miss the wall right so the b that we really want here is we want to say as long as b is greater than this value if 
if B is equal to that value, then we'll, we'll end up in contact with the wall. But as long as B is greater than that value, then that'll keep the turn tighter, right? Because it increases the force a bit. And that will keep us from missing the wall. Okay.